how to create a business email account for free. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now, if you are someone that is looking to get started with their own business email, we all know how expensive it can be. And even if you are going to be able to find a free hosting platform such as Cloudflare, which does allow you to host for free, having a business email means you need to have your own domain so if i go on to godaddy i can show you guys some of my business emails and these are going to be pretty cheap for the first year however after the first year you end up having to pay so much that it never seems worth it after the first year so if you're looking for a platform that can provide you with a free domain and hosting then you can check out neo However, if you already own your own domain name and you're only looking for hosting and you're only looking for hosting because you want to host your emails and get your emails redirected to Gmail, then you can easily have them redirected via Cloudflare. So if you already have a domain, go and opt for Cloudflare and sign up for their free plan so you can host your emails and then redirect emails to your Gmail account. And that is how you can use your business email for free. However, if you do not have a domain and you do not have an email, then we're going to be using Neospace. So for Neospace, you're going to head on over into Neo.space. And once you go into Neo.space, you are able to purchase a free domain with free emails with free business emails and this is something a lot of people do find to be weird but it's only available for certain domains if they are available for free if you go for a more premium name then it's probably not going to be free either so in this what we're going to be doing is we're going to click on sign up for neo once we click on sign up for neo we're going to join neo and to join, I am going to click on no, I need a new domain. Now, once you do that, you're going to search for whatever domain you want. Now, just to manage your expectations a little, a lot of the basic domains are going to be taken and a lot of the really popular domains are not going to be available for free either. So a lot of people do have this expectation that, hey, it said it has free domains. Why can't I get, you know, this flower.com as my free domain? Realistically, that domain is probably very expensive and has already been purchased. So you do need to tailor your name or just alter your name a little bit to be able to use uh, those kinds of domains which might be taken already or super popular words that people have already registered simply because they know how popular those words are and how people must be creating brands under those words. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and let's say I want to build a site called Meraki by Meraki produced by B-U-C-E-T produced by Spencer and I'm going to search for this and you guys can see that Meraki produced by Spencer dot co dot site is available for free. Now currently Neo because it is providing you with this free option it does not have a .com, .net, or .etc domains. It's going to give you a .site domain, which to me, honestly, does not make that big of a difference. If you are picky, then this is not going to be the website for you. But other than that, let's say if I go for Spencer, Spencer Clothing, okay? And spencerclothing.co.site is available. If I go for just Spencer, let's say this is not available. This has already been registered. Let's say it's llama. Llama.co.site is available. Now, with these free domains and free business emails, you will see the first year is free with the yearly email plans and it renews at only $0.60 per month, which is $7 per year. And after your first month free on your domain plan, it renews at only $1 per month. Renewal fees are so low on Neo that honestly, if you purchase free things, like the free plan on Shopify is technically $1. So, you know, it's really important to note these renewal fees are next to nothing, which is why I personally really like to use this as one of my free email business email tools. So we're going to click on get domain and then we're going to enter our full name and we're going to add our existing email address so the email address we are already using after that we are going to set a password for our account 
once we do that we're just gonna move on to our next step which is going to be to create a mailbox for our email so it's going to be lilydavis at llama.co.site and then we're going to set a password for our email after that you are going to see that it has this particular email address that you create right now becomes the admin email address and you can update or assign other email addresses later on as well now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on create mailbox to build our first free mailbox this is completely free and after that we're going to enter our um, team members email address because this is a business email you can add as many members but it's just me for now so i'm gonna skip this you can add some general mailboxes for your business usually you have sales support admin contact but i'm gonna skip this step and after that we can even use their ai powered site builder to easily build our own website but I do not want to use that right now, so I'm just gonna proceed. And then after that, you will see it's going to ask you to subscribe to a plan. You might say, hey, isn't this meant to be free? Well, it is free. For the first year, it's going to be completely free. And afterwards, it's going to only be costing you $1 for your mailbox and this is going to cost you seven dollars for your domain for the entire year which breaks down to zero point like zero point four or five dollars per month so i am just going to click on get starter and after that you will see that it's not going to charge you anything right away you can proceed with whatever billing cycle you prefer and then free for the first month one dollar after the first month you have your one page website and then you have your general total. Now, I always recommend opting for the yearly billing because you can save a lot of money with that. You don't have to pay so much because usually I don't subscribe to yearly plans because they can be so expensive. But with this, your yearly plans are also just gonna be 20 to 30 to $50, which is a really reasonable amount to pay for a generally free domain and hosting and website. So that is how you can access or create a business email for free. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. Also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video